What is going on, 8up gang? Welcome back to another video on the 8up Fishing YouTube channel. If you are new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. Go ahead, leave a big like on this video. And if you are part of the 8up gang already, thank you so much for being a part of the 8up gang. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers. We are doing a massive giveaway for all of you just because you support me and you support this channel. And I just want to give back and say thanks to every single one of you. In today's video, we are really switching it up from what we normally do on the channel. Today, I kind of had this idea because it's actually hunting season. I actually just got done pulling a stand out of a tree, putting out some deer corn, doing some things like that. And I actually walk over this little creek right here behind me. I'll show you guys that in a minute. I've walked by it and I've had my glasses on and I was like, wow, there's actually fish in this little creek. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look around in the woods, in these fields, under rocks, in logs. We're gonna look all around for little pieces of bait. We're gonna look for little grubs, little worms. I've even seen a couple grasshoppers and little frogs. So we're gonna see what we can find. We're gonna do a find our own bait challenge. So we're gonna look for our bait and then we're going to see if we can use that bait to catch these fish in this creek behind me. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's see if we can't find some bait. We'll go ahead, throw them on this old Zebco right here, see what we can catch. It is now time to switch over to the chesty. I've got this little worm container right here just to prove to you I'm catching my bait. There's nothing in here at all. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk around, see what kind of bait we can find. Now the fish in this creek, I'm not really sure how big they get. I've seen some that are probably about this big, so I know they can eat worms. I know they can eat little grubs. I know they can eat all sorts of things like that. I don't know if they'd be able to eat like a cricket or a grasshopper or a beetle. I, I don't really know, but we're gonna see what we can find. I think I'm gonna start right here. It looks like there's a couple logs and stuff. So we're gonna try moving some of these leaves, flipping over a couple logs. We got a couple rocks right here. So could be could be pretty good. Usually there's grubs and worms around logs. So I feel like that could be a pretty, pretty good option. So we've got a couple different things right here. We've got like a slug and then we've got some centipede things. I just don't know if I even want to really touch those things. But I'm going to grab that slug, I guess. All right, well, we got like two or three little slugs. We got these little centipede type things. I just don't even know if you're really even supposed to touch those, but whatever, we touched it. So if I die, it was from the centipedes. I think this is a pretty good strategy I've got going on here, just flipping over. Okay, that's a big spider. I just really don't know if I could uh, hook a spider or not. This is a big log, let's flip this one. Man, you would think there would be some stuff in here. We got an old rotted out log and there's just like nothing here. I'm like really surprised to be honest. There's nothing. Oh, we got a worm. We got a worm. We got a worm. Yes. That is perfect. That is literally perfect. I knew that if we could find a worm, we could catch something. So, that's good. I don't even know where he came from. I was just kind of kicking around dirt. And I just saw him squirming. So, <laughs> that, was, that was just luck right there that we actually found that guy. Oh, yeah. We got like a grub. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. You guys can see that? That one I just got? It's like a big grub thing. I think that that's going to be pretty great for bait. Just a big old fat juicy... Oh my gosh! You're not going to believe it! Look at this grub I just found. He's down in the dirt. Look at that one! Big old fat juicy son of a gun. Perfect. Perfect. I need to put the lid on there so we don't lose that one. All right, so we've got a bunch of grasshoppers over here in this grass. It's just going to be hard to actually catch one of them. 
I think what I'm gonna try to do is maybe try to catch one in my hat. Maybe. There's a lot of them though. Man, I wish I had a net. All right, we just got a grasshopper. Like legit, just got one. And he's really trying to get away from me right now. But I got him. Look, there you can see it right there. Look at that joker. We got us a grasshopper. We're gonna take him and we're gonna just hook him right there. And then we're gonna walk right over to this little creek right here. And then we're gonna hope that something will actually eat this guy. Now I got a strong feeling that they're probably just gonna absolutely smoke it. I just don't know if they're gonna be able to get the whole hook and everything or not, but we'll see. Oh, there's one that just looked at it. Oh my gosh, he is tearing it apart. Oh, dude! No way! Dude, he just tore up that grasshopper, dude. He just tore it up. He still hooked on there good. That was a small, small fish, though. If we can get one that's a little bit bigger, I think that they're, they're gonna be able to eat it. There they are again. Oh, gosh. Look at those things. They are so aggressive. This is so crazy. There's like little fish in here, but they are so mean and aggressive. It's insane. Oh my gosh, I got one. I got one on the grasshopper, dude. Oh my gosh, on the grasshopper. Look at this. Look at this guy. I think that's a little warm out. Man, that is awesome. That is awesome. Man, that creek is nice and cold, too. I can feel this fish is very, very chilly. Check out that fish, though. Man, that is awesome. On a grasshopper. All right, so we've got grubs in here. We've got slugs. And we've got a worm. The worm looks like he's struggling a little bit, so let's go ahead and use the worm. Let's go ahead and use a little piece of this guy right here. For these little fish, I'm actually going to thread it up on the hook. Usually I like to leave some to wiggle off. Just so that way it still looks like it's live. But you can see I kind of like covered the whole hook with the worm. That's so they don't really come off. And we're actually going to put this on a bobber because it was very hard to cast that grasshopper. But I just wanted to kind of see him hit it on top water. So we'll try this with the bobber. I'm 99.99999% uh, I'm sure. They're going to hit it because if they just hit a grasshopper, they're probably hungry and they're probably going to hit just about anything. I'm hoping that we can get a little bit of a bigger fish. That one that we just caught was not that big. But I mean, hey, for a creek, it was not bad. Not bad at all. Yep, there's another fish already. <laughs> there's another fish already. Oh my goodness. No way. No way. We just caught a little bass. No way we just caught a little bass, dude. Are you kidding me? Man, that is awesome. I was not expecting that at all. We just caught us a little miniature bass. Like he's got his ladder line. That is so awesome. Oh my goodness. That is just unbelievable. He just hit the worm. I didn't think there was any bass in here. Like that is so crazy. All right, let's go ahead and let this little guy go right here. I'm pretty stoked. I honestly thought there was going to be some sunfish, some creek chubs, and some more mouths. But there's there's bass in here. There's literally bass in here. That is so crazy. Like, I cannot believe that. I don't know. Let's see what else is in here. There could be some other species I've never even seen before in there. I mean, who knows? We just got to get out there and see. That was on the worm, and I've still got some worm left on the hook. So let's go ahead and get it thrown back out there. All right, let's try that again. Just got another cast. Oh my gosh, already just had another one on there. Man, they're slamming this thing. That bass had a pretty decent sized mouth to him. I think that's the reason why I actually was able to catch him. These other ones, their mouths are sometimes very, very small. So, I just don't know what they are. I think they're creek chubs, to be honest. Oh man. They keep grabbing it, taking that bobber under, but I guess they just don't have the hook good enough. Dang, I do have a little bit smaller of hooks, but I was just going to use these and see how they would work first. Man, 
These things are going crazy. I just need a big one. I want like a big creek chub or something. Man, I just had that one. He just came off the... He was actually on there for a good, good second. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh my gosh, it's another bass. It's another bass. Oh my gosh. It's another bass. Man, that's crazy. I can't believe that, man. Wow. I mean, look at that little guy. All right, second little bass of the day. Gonna go ahead and let that one go as well. I just can't believe these are all bass. That's so crazy. If these are bass, that means that this creek gets deeper somewhere. And where it gets deeper, there has to be some bigger fish that we're able to spawn. So... We may have to turn this into some sort of uh, exploring series or something. If you guys want to see me try to figure out where the big fish are in this small creek, let me know in the comments down below and we will see if we can find a pool that has a lot bigger fish in it. I think it would be pretty cool. So maybe we should do it. Let's go ahead and get rebaited back up. Maybe use a different bait now. I think he took all my worm. So let's just use a different bait now and see if we can catch something. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. We got another one. Another little bass. Look at this. Man, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I just can't believe that there's this many little bass in this little section. Like, that is so crazy. That is so awesome, man. Like, I'm having so much fun just catching these little ones. Like, just because it's so cool and so different. They may not be big, but this is so much fun. It really is. Look at that beautiful fish. Let's go ahead and throw him back in there. That was actually on a little, little, little tiny piece of worm that we had left. So they're liking that worm. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to catch another grasshopper because you guys are probably getting bored with me catching the little tiny bass. So stay tuned. We're going to try to get some micro topwater blowups with these grasshoppers because there are a ton of them. I'm sure that you can hear them. I mean, they're everywhere. It's just catching one. The last time I kind of had to swat and grab him and it ended up working out. So we're going to try it again and see what happens. I don't really know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to give it a shot. We got another one. Took me, took me a couple minutes, but we finally got another one. So uh, that's a good solid plus. Let's see if we can get a bass on one of these things. That would be crazy. Yep, here they come. They're looking at it. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, dude. Dang, are you kidding me? Man, that's crazy. That was another one of those little bluegill. Man, he just slammed that thing. I got to figure out a better way to hook these things because he just straight up cleaned off my hook and like... 0.0 seconds so we gotta figure something out all right i just got another one. Oh no he's trying to come out of my hand now let's see these things are literally so hard to like grab and manage like it's crazy because they just like jump everywhere so i'm gonna go ahead and hook this guy let's go see if we can actually get one of those ones that keeps blowing up on these things. I feel like the bass would hit this if those other ones wouldn't get to it first. Because it's like immediately, as soon as I get that thing in there, it's like, <laughs> they're just like schooling up on it. Like, it's crazy. There's some decent sized fish sitting down there too. Like, there's some decent sized fish. That should be one right there. Dude, how do they keep cleaning me off so easily? That is so crazy. I can't believe it. Literally, it is so much hard work to catch these stupid grasshoppers. I just get one cast and then it's just done. Just done. Done. Just gone. Like, man, that's crazy. I can't believe that. Gotta find another one now. The last time it was pretty easy for me to find one, but he was kind of like in the perfect place for me to grab him, so... 
Get a pretty good one. Got him. Got him. That's how fast you have to be. Lightning speed. Lightning speed. I don't know how I'm even supposed to hook these things. As soon as it starts to sink, it's like they don't want it, but they want it on top of that water. Yep. Dang it, dude. One grabbed it. Oh, no, I just threw him off by accident. Shoot. We're about to use a slug or a grub or another piece of a worm because I'm getting a little frustrated that I can't catch these, and I'm seeing some big ones now. So we're going to give it a shot with a different bait. I still want to catch one more on a grasshopper before... I go ahead and leave here, but I think it'll be kind of cool just to see what kind of species are in here as well, because we know that there's bass and warmouth, but we don't know what else there is. So might as well go ahead and try and see, you know? Oh man, that was almost a bad day right there. I set my bobber a little bit deeper because I'm seeing some fish that are a little bit bigger down towards the bottom. So we're gonna see if that makes any difference towards catching bigger ones like that. That's what we want. That's what we want. That's a bigger one right there. And that is another species. That is another species right there. See, this is what I was expecting to catch. These are actually called Creek Chubs. And this guy is squirming all over the place, like pretty bad, but this would be a Creek Chub. I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go right here beautiful creek chub definitely the biggest fish today by far but there's some more down here and uh we're gonna see if we can't catch those this creek is so small and it is just crazy that there's so many fish in there and they're so hungry i mean they're eating so good in there all right we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the day i had so much fun filming this video like i can't even explain how much fun this was I just don't get to go do anything like this, you know? I'm always out there trying to catch big bass and doing stuff like that, but I just decided I was gonna bring my fishing rods with me when I was checking my deer cameras and ended up finding some fish in a creek and we found some bass, which is pretty awesome. I was not expecting that at all. So I had so much fun. If you guys have never done anything like this, I would definitely encourage you to try because I know that everybody loves catching big bass, but catching those little bass was just as fun as catching those big bass. It was like literally the coolest thing, just catching those fish in that little small body of water. And they were so beautiful. I mean, those fish had beautiful lateral lines. So it was just awesome. If you guys have never done anything like this, you should definitely go ahead and give it a shot next time you're out checking your deer cameras or whatever you're doing. Just go and fish whatever creek you see because there's probably fish in there. We will catch all of you in the next episode. And remember, stay positive, stay happy, and stay bassin'. Go catch them.